Proverbs 10, 15. The rich person's wealth is his fortress, the ruin of the poor is their poverty. Prosperity can be viewed differently by how or what a person finds value in, like money, family, possession, friends, or even fame. The wealth of a person can and will benefit others, especially during medieval times. Castles and fortresses were built by a wealthy king or queen, but he or she knew they couldn't maintain the kingdom by themselves. For the ruler of a kingdom, they would have different kinds of people to do many different roles to have a support system. Each castle would have a lord or a lady of the house they were the most important. He would provide the money to have the castle built so whoever he hired to do so would benefit by getting paid to do as the king wish. Then there were the farmers who were called gongs, they maintained the village crops and animals so that everyone within had food to eat. The servants were usually children of the village parent and keep the castle clean and different parts. The castle cooks were usually the busiest to prepare meals for all the for all inside, he works all day long. A good kingdom made everyone feel useful, the people who had some mental health issues or some kind of deformities was made a jester, joker or fool, they were entertaining the king, his guest or everyone during special occasions. Also, the castle would have soldiers, guards, or knights to defend and fight to keep the kingdom safe and surviving. They all lived within the castle that was surrounded by the fortress wall, the ancient world was cruel, and evil bandits would travel, if they saw a village with no walls or fort, they would cause havoc, steal, destroy, assault or murder everyone, so most strong stone border walls were important. Feeling safe is important and that is the benefit of serving a wealthy humble king, cause people can be productive without fear of any harm or danger. My church is like a fortress, when someone new comes to visit, and if the visitors stay can become a brother or sister in Christ, they are given a role to do. I was given the role of teacher of both youth and adults, some are made treasurers, some deacons or elders someone to play music. Even in modern times, the wealthy may not build castles or fortresses to provide housing for their community, but still, it is a wealthy person who hires people to do a job he or she wants to be done. All people feeling of belonging, we should want to belong to a loving family, the job gives co-workers who become friends, and from some, a church becomes our home away from home. No one is as wealthy as the Almighty God, He made all creation, heaven, and earth for us to dwell in. All that exists, He made, and the Holy Word of God tells us, His only Son gave up His riches of heaven, and became poor so if you and I believe, we also can have the riches of God that is in His heavenly kingdom. Are you rich in Christ, are you poor in spirit? Do you chase temporary worldly treasure, what is prosperity gospel to you? Can you and I be happy with very little, or none at all, if Jesus is Lord of our lives? If your pockets and bank accounts are empty, can you still praise God for being rich in His amazing grace and love? How much is walking on streets of pure gold worth to you? If you want to talk about my question, or want an answer let me know. God bless you all, Jesus loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich.